Hello everyone, welcome you back to the science class. I hope you all are doing good. Right children? So dear students, as you all know that we have started with the new topic that is acids, bases and salts. Yes? So today in this session, we shall be discussing about acids and bases in details along with their properties. Clear? But before that, let us recapitulate what all we have done in our previous class. In our previous video students, we have discussed the chapter preview. I need to say, I have discussed the different concepts of the chapter. Clear? So today, we shall be discussing about acids and bases. But before that, let us look the objectives for the day. So the objectives are to make the students understand about the acids and bases, to make the students understand about the different sources of acids and bases, to make the students understand about the different properties of acids and bases. So dear students, I hope you have understood the objective. Means at the end of this session, you would able to understand the different acidic substances and different basic substances. You would able to understand about the different properties of uh, no, acidic substance and the basic substances. You would able to identify the acids and bases. Clear? Yeah? So let us start with the class. So children, as the name of the topic, as the name of the chapter is acids, bases and salt. Right. So now the moment when I say, I utter the word acid, something very, you know, scary things may be coming in front of your eyes, isn't it? The moment when I say acids, something very scary, it must be coming. Definitely it will come. You would you you may be imagining different kind of uh, different kind of things like acid falling on the skin and then burning. All those kind of stuffs must be coming in front of your eyes. Yes? But do you think always these acids are very dangerous like this? It's not. You will be surprised to know that some of the acids we are getting in some edible things like some fruits. Clear? So I have some examples to show you where we will find the acids. Clear children? So just let, let's look this side. So you see children, I have some examples. Okay, I have displayed some examples and these are very common things, okay, which we, uh, you know, which we encounter in our day-to-day -day life. So, you can see this. This is, this perhaps you all know. What is this? This is a lemon. Yes? How does it taste? It tastes very sour, isn't it? So, it contains the acid, they are, I think you all are aware which acid? That is citric acid all right this is tomato yes so this tomato also contains some acids you know the acid is citric acid clear okay. so these are you no know, these are the substances which contains acids or uh, the acid which is called citric acid that is why these are said as citrus fruits clear okay. So again, I have some few more examples. This you can see, this is what? White vinegar. Alright, this is white vinegar. So this white vinegar again, it contains which acid? Acetic acid. This is white vinegar. It contains acetic acid. Now you can see this is what? This is very yummy, isn't it? We or you must be using while eating the chow means and all. So this is tomato ketchup. Alright. And here you see, this is curd you can see the hindi name is given dahi okay this is curd and curd contains also curd also contains one kind of acid can you name the acid that is lactic acid so children these were some of the examples from our day-to-day -day life isn't it so now we can say that acids taste sour means the substances which contains acids, they sometimes, you know, they, they taste sour. But we cannot taste all the acids, you know, because there are some acid, acids which are dangerous, okay? So, you know, there are, uh, the, I mean, there are some organic acids which are very mild. The organic acid which we have just seen means the organic acid which we find in some fruits or different, uh, you know, different materials, okay? 
So those acids are very mild, okay, they are not very dangerous, but there are yet some other acids which are basically used in the chemistry lab, like, uh, you know, sulfuric acid, nitric acid. So those acids we cannot taste. You know, children, this taste factor is only the property of acid, okay? You cannot taste all the acids, clear? It is just a property of acid. Please remember that, clear, children? So, uh, you can say that now, uh, now we can say that acids, they are having two different properties as of how much we have read in so far. So, acids are sour in taste. Acids are, uh, no, acids are of different types, some are mineral acid and some organic acids, okay? So now to make it more clear, let us uh, look the definition along with some examples. Acids, the substances that taste sour are called acid and their nature is acidic. The term acid is derived from a Latin word acer which means sour examples of acidic substances are curd containing lactic acid lemon juice and tomato containing citric acid and vinegar containing acetic acid so children uh, about acid i have written the definition in so short you can read this also substances which are sour in taste so these are acids all right so some examples which i have taken just now on this lemon orange curd and tomato all right so this is the simple definition of acid clear but while writing you have to write the definition from the slide which i shall be sharing with you all right now we understood the two properties of acid that's number one acids are sour in taste okay so acids are not slippery to touch all right so now let's look the properties. Properties of acids. Acids are sour in taste. Acids are not soapy in touch. Acids are acidic in nature. So I think now acid is clear to you all. Okay students. Now let us discuss about bases. Alright. Now just look this uh, definition which is written in short. Bases, substances which are bitter in taste. They are slippery in touch. Example, soap, uh, sorry, soap bar, toothpaste and many more, okay? So now, bases, as I have written there, bases are the substances which are bitter in taste, all right? And they are slippery in touch, clear? So we can have many examples for that. Now, you know, uh, children, these bases also, okay? The basic substances I need to say. We encounter these basic substances also in our day-to-day -day life. Okay. We come across various examples. So I have some examples for you right now to show you. So let's check out. So here you see children. These are basic substances. So here I have a bar. This is soap. Now when I'm touching it, I'm finding it very slippery. Okay, so this is a soap bar. Thus, you can see a hand wash. All right, this is a dish wash. And this is a baking, baking powder. So, all these are basic in nature. They contain the base. Clear students? Now, when we wet our hair, when we... You know, when we, you know, wash the clothes or rather when we touch the soap with the wet hair, we will find it very slippery. Clear? So, let us uh, summarize it. I mean, let us uh, read, I mean, let us understand the properties of bases now. So, the first property which we have discussed is uh, bases are bitter in taste. Next Bases are slippery in touch. Okay, I cannot taste the baking powder. I cannot taste rather the soap. Alright, can I taste the soap? It's not possible. Nobody would taste the soap or detergent. So 
so that is why this is merely one property of the base means the taste factor is only the property of the base now uh, we must have something which will give us the true uh, no the what to say the uh, uh, we must have something which will tell us that it is really an acidic and basic substance so now what will be that that will be the indicators so in our next class we shall be discussing about indicators so we need to use the indicators to identify whether a, a liquid is acidic in nature or basic in nature is that clear so to make it more clear students now let us look the slide about the definition of bases bases the substances that taste bitter are called base and their nature is basic they are slippery to touch example baking soda containing sodium hydrogen carbonate milk of magnesia soaps lime water containing calcium hydroxide household cleaners so children i hope you have understood about the definition of base along with the uh, examples right so now just recall the properties okay the properties of the bases are number one bases are bitter in taste okay and then second bases are slippery in touch clear so just now look at the slide properties of bases bases are bitter in taste bases are slippery in touch bases are basic in nature so children i hope that you have understood acids and bases very clearly by now yes so uh, today i would like to wind up but before that let us recapitulate or summarize what all we have discussed in today's session clear so today we have started with the word acid i told you that acids are the substances which taste sour all right and we have taken different examples okay different examples like lemon tobacco and then curd and then vinegar wherein we find different types of acids clear we find citric acid in lemon and uh, tobacco yes we find acetic acid in vinegar clear we find lactic acid in curd we have discussed this and we have discussed that these acids are organic acid and they are very mild acid okay and we have discussed there are some yet another acids which are mineral acid which we use basically in the lab like the sulfuric acid nitric acid yes then we have discussed about bases okay we discussed that bases are bitter in taste all right and these bases are slippery to touch means when we touch it we get some uh, soapy sense okay we uh, while touching it we will get, will find it very slippery all right and then we have discussed the different properties of acids and bases i hope this class is clear to you all students so today i would like to wind up thank you so much for listening to me stay safe stay healthy see you in the next class